Hey, welcome back to Alternative Small Holding. Today we are at the plot and I am going to take some cuttings from our current bushes. So I thought whilst I'm here, I may as well show you what I'm doing. If you're going to take cuttings from a current bush, you need to do this when the bush is dormant. So that is generally in the UK between say November and you're pushing it in February, but you can still do it. So if you want to take cuttings from your current bushes to create more free plants, better get a wiggle on. This bush here is the one bush I believe that is a red current. Now we only had this plot since oct late October. So all of the current bushes had already fruited and started to die back by then, so I wasn't sure what they are. Now a tip to tell if your current bushes are a black currant or a red or white currant is a black currant generally smells of Ribena when you prune it, and the others don't. And this one doesn't. A great way to take current cuttings is to use the prunings of your bush. Now this branch, this is coming out across the pathway, so I'm going to take it back anyway. So I thought that this would be a great one to show you how to take current prunings and turn them into current cuttings and therefore creating free plants. Now you want the length of your cutting to be about 25 to 30 centimetres long but you want to take off the top growing tip. So cut that off first, let's do that. So here you can see the tip of the plant. So I'm going to take that down and cut it above this bud. When you're taking cuttings, you want the top cut to be above a bud. So remember top, over the top, and you want the bottom cut to be underneath a bud. So we're going to trace this down now, and you want it to be about 25 to 30 centimetres long, which is right about on this joint here. So I'm going to go to this bud, I'm going to cut it back and always cut on a slight angle. So here's our first cutting. Now this is where I'm playing a bit of a risk. If this was a black currant, the advice is to leave all of the buds on that you are actually going to submerse into the pot, which I have here. But with red currants or white currants or gooseberries even, it's recommended that you take these off. Now because I believe this is a red currant and it doesn't smell of Ribena, I am actually going to take the risk and I'm going to remove these buds. So here we have two cuttings, this is the one that we just did and I've taken another one too. Now you can plant these directly into the ground by making a slit with your fork or you can put them in a pot. It doesn't really make any difference. Some people like to use a hormone rooting powder on the end, but I'm not going to. I haven't found that I've ever needed to do that to be honest, but some people do like to. It's completely up to you. So take your cutting and just push it down into your pot and I'll put two in this one pot. And then, you're done. You've got your current cuttings. Put these current cuttings in a protected place over winter and just leave them to it. At spring they may start to grow roots. Just leave them, you will see new growth coming out of the top. Not every cutting will take, that's normal. But just wait and watch for signs of life and hopefully soon you'll have new current bushes. But as I said, February is your last chance to get on with this. So if you've got currants you need to prune or you want to make new free plants, then it's best to do it now. Thank you for watching. This has been Jazz from Alternative Small Holding. I've just taken a few current cuttings. I hope you found it useful. Please do subscribe and hit the bell. There goes Rue. <laughs> and we're gonna get off home now and get a nice coffee. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.